Okay, here we go again. Video of the A10. Just quick put together here. Anyway, I've already put on the one wing here and mounted the tail surfaces. But as you'll note, these just plug in here and here. These are different than the recent P47 from FMS, so these parts are not interchangeable um, because of this pin right here. I already mounted the two stabs and the uh, horizontal stab. <coughs> Excuse me. Pretty straightforward. It just slips on here. You make your servo connection right in here. Two screws here. Two screws here, and this bolts on here. Two screws that folded in from the bottom. Let me slide the wing up on here. After I already put the spars in here, just slightly wiggle this down, making sure that the pins line up and the connections are in there. You'll notice I've already put CG markers on here. This is 80, 85 millimeters recommended CG. Um, which is actually the forward edge and the back edge of my dot right there. So the white points are actually a split between the difference here. Now that those are plugged in here, make sure that wing's all the way on. I'll flip it upside down for you guys as we rotate it upside down here. We'll walk back over here. You've got two screws here and two screws here that hold on the elevator. This already comes already pre-set up. I did not have to add any trim. These plug on. We have plastic pieces here for reinforcement and uh, that are actually part of this that slip on and it's really nice and stiff. I like it. The antennas are the accessory pack that comes with it. It's just slip on. There's no gluing on this plane at all except for this piece right here and the, this piece up here which you can glue on as an accessory. This is the drain mast for the, uh, and I've already painted the black. These actually come the same color gray as uh, the airplane. Um, slip in notches right here that hold them so they are removable. And here. They're actually going to make a change to future models that come out in this because uh, on the ear tab, let me get this guy out of here. I had to re-glue this back in because I pulled it out. This piece right here should have been molded back here so that when you slip it on, it covers it up like this does, but they, they mold it here. They will be in the process already of changing that. I pointed it out to them here last week. So right now it shows, I just painted it gray. Really not a big deal at all, but didn't want to point that out to you guys. This already comes, that's it. The ordinance, the slips on, snaps on, snaps off. As you can see, all the pieces, these are actually on the fuselage, but they, they come off as well. I kind of leave them on my plane because they act as a resting guide when I don't have the wings on it and I'm just setting the fuselage. You got two 70 amp um, brand new speed controllers that they're using right here. A brand new brand, really nice. Powering two 70 amp ESCs. I'm not sure what the motor KV is. I haven't had a chance to full look this out. Ignore this little light right here. This is an add-in that I have added. This is actually a low voltage warning light that comes on, but I'll tell you guys more about that later. Venting holes here and here. Beautiful scale doors. Beautiful ordnance package. And then you would put two screws here and here to hold on your wing, which I'm not gonna do right at this minute because it stays on pretty good by itself. And I'm just kind of doing a overview here for you guys to get to get a good look at this plane here. Push button snap open canopy. And they've got a new pilot in here that looks really sharp. This is the plug-in for the light system. You'll notice I took the I got another light right here. I have a red and a green. I know it's not the scale colors, but these are very visible during the daylight. And I actually plugged this into my battery tap on my 6S and it reads the first two cells voltage. And when my battery gets below 3.5 volts if I ever fly it that deep far down which I normally don't these come these will actually start flashing real fast giving me a visual indication up in the uh, air 
that uh, the battery is below 3.5 volts and it's time to land but I usually land long before that and during the evening and low light hours these actually make it very visible for orientation which is why I have red on top and a green on the bottom though it should be red for scale purposes but I'm not doing this for scale uh, as to orientation it does already have built-in wing lights here using the same Cree bulbs that are actually red and green in the proper orientation they're supposed to be uh, six cell setup uh, six channel airplane so let's get a battery and my radio here turn the radio on real quick now then I have a Gen Zay's 5300 this I've already fitted an Admiral 5000 6S and a Glacier 30C 6000 and they all fit however I find the best fit for my battery here this one's a little heavier than most so you'll notice that I'm actually going to scoot it a little forward here to get it under here to velcro these straps down you can position your batteries accordingly to whatever different size batteries come with it already does come with EC5 connectors which most of us are all using on our larger power packs but with this battery pack and me moving it forward after I did a balance already here I had to hog out just a little bit of foam right here because it exposed the canopy but I also wanted the vent holes here even though they have this one vent hole I added more to keep things from alligator and up in here but more so to clear my battery because my batteries moved a little further and there was foam right here that you can see that I actually took a Dremel tool and Dremeled out so that the hatch will close on my battery. We'll set this up here. Get her plugged in here. Now then, I got to make sure I got the right orientation for ground here. See here, ground is on that side, so. There we go, so I plug this in, and you'll see my lights come on. I can have them either steady on by pushing this little button right here on this control piece. Now they're steady on, so you can see that I have red and a green on the bottom, hard because I'm trying to use this GoPro for the first time, or flashing. Now then I'll button that up, put my hatch on here, come over here and get my radio, set this down and flip the airplane over. Once again, <coughs> now then, as you guys can see here, I'll set the retracts down. Scale retract location, and on the A10, the landing light comes on when the gear come down. It goes off when they're actually in, but they've actually got it in the scale locations with the nose wheel offset. Same thing with the, with the uh, gear here. Notice the new trailing link setup they've got here, which is very smooth. I'm very impressed with their new, their new retract setup here. It's super smooth. Same way with this guy. Same with this guy right here. Very, very nice. Now then, uh, I kind of altered mine just a little bit. I actually elevated this up to put a little more forward rake on it, just a personal preference, and also to get my gear door to come down a little closer. The gear door was actually rubbing on this back part of this trailing link and I needed the gear to come down in here a little further. Just some tips and tricks that I've done. I actually stock out of the box, it's, it's, it's pretty nice, but the uh, gear door did ride just a little high when um, I was doing my, you'll notice that I've got the green blinking light on the bottom here. This should actually be red, but uh, that way I can see, I can tell visually by the light indication top from bottom and this is all part of my low voltage alarm plus there's a PZO speaker on that as well but uh, as you'll notice here we'll I'll put these down for you gear doors closed and it's mechanical so there's no sequencer
These wheels here are, they look aluminum, but they're actually plastic. But note that this time, these are smooth rolling. There's no wobble in them because there are bearings in the wheels. They've actually embedded bearings into the uh, hubcap here, the scale hubcap, which is a super nice touch. And they just, they, they run like, like they're on grease ball bearings because there actually are ball bearings in here. A little different attachments mechanism here. This is actually a screw that's reverse threaded into this block right here. So when the wheel's actually spinning in the direction it is, it keeps this tight at all, the t at all times. Even though I did already take all these wheels off, put a little thread locker on there, and then put these in here, and then allow it to set for a day or two. All th same goes for all three wheels. The only one that doesn't have bearings on it, I think, is the nose, but there's a bushing on the nose. These actually have a bearing on it. I may be wrong about the nose, but I did notice that there's actually smooth bearings on this. So let's, let me put my radio back down here again. We'll turn it back over. Now let's get it on its, actually, let's set it down on the ground here. Scoot this out of the way. And actually turn this guy around and take a listen to those fans. Put my foot up in front of it here. No. Twin 70 millimeters. That's what. It's about 10% on my throttle right there. Hmm, off into the dirt here. Just doing a little check another radio. Get these rates up here. I have three rates set into it. Definitely nice sound in plane. We'll drop the flaps for you here. Take off flaps. That's what I have set in for the takeoff flaps. flaps. And that's what I have set in for the take landing flaps. Takeoff flaps. Flaps up. Now I have everything at high rate right now, so don't go by the throws you're seeing on my control movements here because I'm turning around in this little small space in the driveway. I'm just wanting to kind of get a feel for it. Anyway, there you guys go. There's the new FMS 1500 millimeter A10. The stock lights are the ones that are on the wing here. You see the green. The one on the top and the bottom you see flashing is uh, a unit that I added in that comes from RC Castle, which is an RC lander low voltage circuit that I put on there. Other than that, it's pretty much, it's actually, it is all stock. That should give you guys a little more view of what we've been talking about for the last month or so. Um, and then shortly after this, we're gonna see another beautiful bird, the uh, Freewing twin 80 millimeter A10, which ought to be another beautiful airplane. And we should see that, see that sometime this spring, so hopefully soon. Hope you guys liked it. I'll show you more later. Bye-bye.